Memories! Hey, welcome to your beginning of November read for this current year. I'm at home in my comfy pajama pink buttons, which I'm probably going to end up taking off because like, I, I keep fluctuating between hot and cold. You know. One of the two, right? So, Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, that's not even at all. Jesus Christ. Anyway. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Also, don't tell me that I'm talking about someone else doing the wrong thing, because I don't know that. I'm picking up what I pick up, and if like there's something you don't want to hear or don't like to hear, I'm sorry. I like I'm, I mean, I, I just where needed, I guess, or throw it on the other person. That's, that's probably what you should do. You know, let it trigger you and let you be like, no, it was them, just so you know you feel better. Okay. Alone in the world, Aries. Somebody had this before. I can't remember who. But you're alone in the fucking world. Sometimes I wish I could be that way. That'd be awesome. Like, it'd be able to uh, sit on a bench naked and not worry about anybody bothering me? Like, oh my god. But then again, I don't think I'd be able to get delivery. Which is bullshit, but whatever. Alright, alone in the world. Moon phase of the third quarter. And this stage is acceptance. Much like the stages of death, right? You know, um, what is it? Denial, bargaining, anger depression, and then acceptance, right? In solitude I stand, in solitude I may shine. The visual seed under the morning light in a closed and silent court, paved with stones laced by trees, a beautiful woman sits naked on a precious bench. Many blankets or drapes are around her, in color red and white, like discarded wings. Sentence. I made my home a cloister, my heart a chalice, for the faintest breeze, and yet I stand alone. Going dark, waiting for something to come back. Or wanting for something... Jesus Christ, okay. Wanting for something to come back. When we parted ways, we promised to each other, I will wait for you, and I will come back. We may have used different words, like, it's just for a few months, or a sharper pen, like, I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. The mind has lost hope, body has lost memory, but our heart is still incomplete. It is shrined into a blessed feeling of longing and desire, innocence and hope, but it is also entombed into a well of solitude and distance. It builds walls to stall the passage of time and the walls kept out everything. Will the prince come or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning and it has an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun of a new day. Yay! So, that's your theme for this one, Aries. I'm not gonna lay out two because there's no reason. That literally has, like, eight paragraphs or whatever in it. So, anyway. Let's see. Energy of the Queerant. The sun. Could be Leo. You know, could be Gemini as well. The situation is the Queen of Cups... Um, someone might be, like, acting kind, but it's for ulterior motives, or there's some underlying malice. You know, she's like the bitch who played Ma. Think about it that way. It's just like, oh, I don't know if I want to go to your house, bitch. Like, no. Nah. Like, I don't know. She's, like, it's somebody who acts... Mmm. It's definitely somebody who's acting, and they're really good at it. Okay. The wants and wishes for this queer in Aries. They got a lot of anxiety. The obstacle and challenge below is uh, options. Hmm. It's like someone's in anxiety about this pairing because they already see the option. As someone who's a little bit devious, Aries, if you're looking at this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio... You might have saw something in them that I think you didn't like. Fears and rejections. Knight of Wands. You are not in the mood to um, 
Why are you so crooked? Stop it. Okay. Like, you're afraid that you're going to have to put up a fight in order to run the other way. But then that will lead you to being alone in the world, too. Mm. Let's see. And then, what well, started this shit and how it'll end, the Six of Cups reversed. Traumatic events, bad memories, even stuff tremming from childhood. Tremming? Stemming? My bad. So let's see. Yeah, Aries, like this possible water sign, or this person could have water in their charts. Mind you, crosswalk your switch where you need to, because that's what you're here for. Right? Right. But um, it seems like this person does give you anxiety, because there was some fucked up shit back in the day. Like, you want this pairing? Okay. Don't forget the Mountain Dew. Okay. I love you. Anyway, you want this pairing, but you're looking at your options. And it's just like, do I get with somebody in order to be happy? Or do I get with somebody in order to have all this anxiety about being together? It's like you have anxiety about being with them and being without them. Which is like, but, okay. Or, they, or, they're, or they're having this with you. Or maybe you're afraid that this um, potential Leo might be the one who runs away in a huff. You're like, you don't appreciate me enough. Or some shit. Or something. I don't know. Uh. So let's see, Aries. What's up with the sun right here? Someone just can't get over some emotions and such, right? Like, this pairing was cool, and someone's just doing the whole longing thing, but they're not ready to give up their betties. Or maybe they're regretful since this is a four of cups. I should probably pay attention to the fucking number of cups, right? Um, they might be trying to deal with the emotions of, like, grief and shit when it comes to having to lose a betty. Or a betty disappeared, like they would have chose that betty. Or that betty that's being chosen has regrets about being chosen too or they feel like they weren't chosen i don't know like yeah that's almost like what it is it's like it, here's this pairing with two people it's like there's regret now that th this one wasn't dropped but they but i feel like there wasn't um i still feel like there was another betty there's still regret over being chosen, even though I think this person thinks that they shouldn't have been Aries. Alright, Queen Cups below with the situation. She's holding her cup out, too. So she might be this bitch. Um, naked with her butt out and such, right? Okay. Yeah, like, she's feeding into the whole idea of the relationship or whatever. With the lovers. Definitely could be Gemini. And she's waiting for something fruitful to come out of it. But it's like... But it's not under the guise of anything honest. It's like they're waiting for something, some sort of potentiality to come out of being with you. Or they see potential in you and they're biding their time. And it's all under this kind of guise of like, you know, um, it's like, they, it's like they want to act like they're your grandmother and, and give you oatmeal that's been like laced with broken pieces of glass and shit. And then act like they're helping you after like, you start kind of bleeding and such from like all the glass tearing you up inside. You know, that is true though. I learned that in history class. Um, black slaves used to do that. A lot. They break a piece of glass and like use the broken pieces to um, put in the bowls of oatmeal and shit to get back at the um, slave owners sometimes. And it's like this person's kind of doing that. It's like they want to feed into something and they're willing to wait patiently in order for this to come through. The thing is though, it's like this bitch is all sad because like. 
this idiot's coming after her even though I think she wants to be dropped. Like, this Betty is over here. This Betty isn't even paying attention. She's just like, la la la. Like, it's a sunshiny day and just frolicking in the forest somewhere, I guess. And, and then, like, this chick over here is like, here, I got this cup for you. And this bitch is like, um... You know, I don't. I don't think I want this. Uh, like, I don't. I don't think I want that. You know, I still got like emotions from the last time. Well, you're getting this cup, but oh my god. Okay. Anyway, wants and wishes areas with this nine of swords right here. Right. Lots of anxiety. Lots of issues. You got a demon on your shoulder. You're still fucking worried. You got a dead cat in your bed. You're still fucking worried. You're just staying up worried. Your cat's been dead for days because you've been just laying in bed worried for nothing. Right. It's because you keep hearing shit from people who need to mind their fucking business. Like, either trying to come up and, and poison the well with somebody who might be above you, or it's somebody who's giving you shitty advice, or telling you stuff that don't make no damn sense. Either you or your person, Aries. Hmm... And that makes you want to actually take some action towards this. Hmm. It's like you want to come back in for a fight. Okay, the obstacle and challenge with recognizing these options down below. Hmm. So, Aries, this person right here could be senile, stupid, or just a really mean grandpa, right? Because we already got grandma over here, but now we got grandpa with two youngins sitting here talking about, like, can I get an advancement? No. Can I get some advice? Probably, but it probably won't work out for you because I give shitty advice. Um, can we have a hug? I, you're not my children. You know, like, the person, it's like... It's like it's like, maybe these people came up with, like, some intentions because this old guy just doesn't know any better. But that spurned someone to ride into action. But that's also in your fear, so there's something that you're afraid of once you charge in that might pop up. Alright, two of pentacles. Your options. Uh, try to walk into the light with this relationship with the devil card. Shadow side upright. Capricorn's card. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Mm. You can either walk to the like, mm. If y'all walk to the light, the tower never happens. But it's like, there's something wrong. I'm dropping one more because there's something wrong here. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm sick or something. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, it's like, the only way to, like, deal with all of these options and all these issues is actually, like, trying to, you know, deal with the terrible and chain-bound relationship created with the devil. You know, the devil's just like, what up? You know, right here. And these people are ashamed looking at each other and stuff. Um, lots of projection right here, and it's like, you have to, you know, fix some shit. I don't know why this is all, never mind, never mind, never mind. Anyway, it's like, you kind of gotta, like, fix some stuff before, like, you can walk into the light when it comes to this relationship, because it literally does suck the energy away. And if you do that, there might just be an avoidance of the tower, and you guys might be resurrected, sitting at your graves, enjoying your happy, happy time, right? Like you, you might even get like a nice show with this bitch dancing in the back in the backyard for you naked. I don't know why she's back there, but you know it's whatever. Anyway, why is she the only one casting a shadow? Like her body is extended all the way up to here, yet neither one of these two guys have a shadow on them. I'm sorry, I just like point. I, I that just hit me. Like where are their fucking shadows? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
<laughs> oh goodness. Hmm. All right, Knight of Wands. The fears and rejections. Mind you, there's something here with these two people when they're coming up to this old dude. And there's an exchange, I feel, of some sort. Like, and the exchange probably wasn't as valuable as what they led it to believe, but it still spurred you into the action, right? Your fear with that action is a, uh, ugh. Going after the dude who runs the town, eh? Ew. And the Queen of Pentacles reverse. The fuck does that mean? Hmm. Well, is it like a, a final boss that you didn't know was there until you got there? Is that what I'm picking up here? Like, you know. Your fears and your rejections when going into battle, like, this dude right here, who's like, a, a completely like a freaking Monopoly dude, has control over everything. Nothing happens without his say. You know, then we got Miss Fanny Mae right here right you know she's all uh bitter demanding and shit but she has her back to her not even paying attention and it's like much like this dude over here and since she's a pentacle person i'll assume that she's the one with the pentacles it's like um uh, if there's an earth sign right now around you they might be a very powerful person But I don't think they have any fucking reason to put up with you at all. They're just got their back turned. They're just like, I don't know. I got other shit to do. Go away. Like, I don't care if you want to fight, you know? I feel like you're afraid that this person won't even give you the time of day, Aries. Like, you're coming in the battle. You're coming in to try to figure things out. And yet, like, this person who has all of this power, all this control over everything, um, it, it feels like you're below them and they don't have to fucking, um, deal with your shit, you know? Okay. How it goes around, how it comes around, how it started, how it will end. Six of Cups reverse. There's the sun. Someone wants to be happy or someone was happy. Despite the fact that, you know, the relationship was kind of trash panda material. It just didn't work out. They're happier on their own. Actually, Aries, it seems like. Well, it's more like you're happier on your own. Because this relationship, whatever it was, it just messed you up just a little bit. This is definitely how you're feeling about certain things. Not anybody else, Aries. It's like... I think you're worried about someone trying to come back, actually. Hmm. Let's see. Up top with the energy. Yeah, so like, yeah, you're not trying to get on their bow. You're just like, nah. It's, it's cool. I remember the last time you threw the sword in my fucking back, you son of a bitch. But, you know, it's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. But I think you had a, uh, someone had an affair on you, which is crazy, Aries, because normally you're the cheater. But it's whatever, you know. They might have done some shit behind your back, and then, like, now they're coming back to come get you. And it's like, you're hesitating because you remember, like, the viciousness, you know. Uh, you had to be quite gentle with this person, too, despite the, the fact that they did some bullshit to you, right? Um, and it left you feeling like they left a bunch of shit to waste while they took whatever it is they wanted. You know, um, slammed the door in your face and took off elsewhere and didn't want to resolve any issue whatsoever because, you know... Fuck you and your feelings, ha ha ha, you know, like, like they have that- I don't like this fucking person. And this is your and this is how you see them Aries um, but I don't like this person anyway okay down below with the situation yeah here's the Queen of Pentacles she's just sitting there looking at her pentacle and her pentacle basically consists of hanging people up you know she'll feed them bullshit in order to keep them from moving forward with their life which is terrifying. Like, that's what... That, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <coughs> Let me tell you, man. 
is a fucking earth sign. Especially Capricorn. My speciality is giving people a hard time and fucking up their day if they ever get in my way. That is my specialty. Like, as a Capricorn, giving someone a hard fucking time is the best thing I've ever been good at. Like, it's awesome. <laughs> but I totally get this. It's like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna go over and say hi to them, even though I know they don't fucking like me. <laughs> it's gonna fuck up the rest of their day. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Yeah. Man, I might as well just fucking, like, bring the fucking bucket over here. I am almost done. It is nonsense. Almost. But not quite yet. Okay, Aries. So. Yeah, this... I don't know, man. Like, I mean... It, Like, they act like they're giving you something of value. But remember, that was under false pretenses, right? But what they're really giving you is something that, like, keep you stuck. Like, if you were supposed to grow into a pretty flower, they keep nipping the top of you to be like, Oh, well, it's just a fucking weed. It doesn't matter. Like, not letting you get as beautiful as you could be, right? Worse, it smelled like fucking cheese, I bet you. I bet you. Like string cheese. Ew. <laughs> okay. Wants and wishes. What comes up after this shit? Ah, oh, someone got greedy. Someone got greedy. And now they're all fucked up. Everything they picked out based on greed, it fucking ruined whatever chances they had with all these other options. Like, usually the Seven of Cups talks about confusion. Um, especially when it's reversed, I feel like. Well, for me, anyway. I don't know. Like, I've only read the books, like, maybe once or twice, and then after that, I was just like, I'm not reading this shit. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Anyway. Um, but the Seven of Cups reverse confusion, and it's like, this person picked some bullshit, and then all the other options went away, and now they're confused. Like, I thought I picked the right stuff, right? In order to get a relationship going. And it was like, no, your greed got in the way of the relationship. Aries, I feel like you're extremely worried about this person. But not, not like you give a fuck about them. As much as it is you're worried what the fuck they're going to do next to you, you know? Yours is actually rather long. I don't know how this happened, but it's whatever. <laughs> you guys enjoy this. You, like, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Ladders, ladders, ladders. Anyway. Down below here in the obstacles and challenges. Uh, it's fuck no, like, someone wants to be, um... Treated like equals, if you will. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means just yet. Why Why we got the gnome? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, they're gonna try to get... Okay, first off, they think you're a fucking gnome. So, right there, they got an attitude. All right, I don't like that. They're looking at you like a gnome, giving you a pentacle, being like, here's some money! You can use this to buy fish at the market, or little mud things, or whatever the fuck gnomes use... Just you take it, it's good for you, I promise. Sending the bird to, to, is like a... Like, sending the bird as a messenger, like back in the day when they would send pigeons and shit. Do they still do that? I don't know. But that's what this person is doing. It's just like, here's excuses. Here's more excuses. This person could be loaning you fucking money, actually, in order to keep you trapped, too, and acting like a fucking loan shark. Anything to keep this shit going. But they look at you as a gnome. And that pisses me off slightly. It's just like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna treat a gnome equal to a person? As an excuse. You know, they might even say, they might even talk that shit to people. Just be like, yeah, I got to help this person out all the time. They're useless and all this stuff. Like, I don't like this person, Aries. Whoever you feel like you're dealing with, because this is your perspective. Uh, yeah, right here, your fear, the fears and rejections right here for you, Aries. Like, you're afraid shit won't work out. And I don't think it will if you rush into this stuff right? 
Because it's still going to lead to the Three of Cups. You're, you're still going to be like, what the fuck? You know? Like, you initially didn't even want to be in this shit because of the third party. And if you rush in again, it's just going to be the exact same bullshit all over again. That's your biggest fear. And I feel like this person wants to confuse the shit out of you with your options in order to keep you. I think you recognize that. Alright, last but not least. Okay, this is where the final result. What is it, please? Yeah, someone gets you to put your sword down and be like, look, give me the gun, young blood. No, that's not necessary. That is not necessary. Some some people might come up and t try to dissuade you from you going for information or going to cut somebody in the jugular, right? But that's all just to stop you from doing whatever. Like, I mean, like, you're happy right here. Being, hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, back in the day, people would stop you from doing things, and that's what hung you up the most. People would convince you that you were wrong, that you shouldn't be looking up information, because the Page of Swords is about spy work and shit. And these people are coming up, like, saying whatever. Getting him to put his sword down and think that he doesn't have to battle and shit. But in reality, that was just stopping you and putting the monkey on your back. Um, these people were assholes. And it's three, once again. Third party situation. Aries. Um... This person's got an attitude. They treat you like you're lesser, I feel like. And I don't like them. But, you know. I, 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 I'm just gonna say, you know, like, fuck this guy. That's all. Anyway. Aries, that's the end of your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. Uh, you don't have to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Right? Uh, oh, um, for anybody new... All the info for personal readings are down in the description box. Um, newcomers, your first reading's on the house. Everything else comes with the price, but I do accept tips and donations. Anyway, I should have said that at the beginning, but it's whatever. Um, I'll see you guys later, and I love your faces. Bye-bye.